Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Currency City. Um, as you may know, if you come from my old channel, I like to do updates on my Currency Cities, and this one has uh, gone through a lot uh, since the last video, which was the first introduction video. Uh, I'm also going to be running through all the old stuff just so the new people can see it. So if you're here new, make sure to smash that like button. If you're on Xbox One, send me a message, xxkodiak316xx, if you would like to join. Now, this is the city of Gardun. Gardun is my city. It's the original city of this, of this world. And the way there is, I am the president since I'm the host of the world, but I'm also the mayor of the city. I can lose mayorship. I can be impeached, but I cannot lose my pre presidency. That's how the city works. This whole world's a country, but there is cities. So that's how that works, and cities can have war with each other, and yeah, it's kind of like anarchy within, like, it's like city government, state government, something like that. But anyway, now we come through the main gate. Uh, as you can see, nothing has really been changed, nothing really polished here. Uh, you might see a couple differences. I don't really remember what it looked like at first. Uh, this world is mainly played in survival, and as you see with the new update, I can. This is originally in survival, so anybody that joins, except for me and co uh, co admin uh, Z Slayer, only me and him get the option to go into creative, and so therefore they're in survival. And there was a creeper explosion here, and that was all we could salvage. So yeah, so this is our agricultural business. Um, yeah just our farm I'm gonna have to since I am the owner of this I'm gonna have to I'm gonna put money on the city for um so we can get more land for crops and just make more money and so yeah and the rule is with different cities you can ch oh my door just slammed open sorry it's really windy but um the thing is with cities this city has built architectural and agricultural agriculture since we have the biggest buildings like the nicest buildings and uh, the biggest farm and the only farm and then the rest of the cities get the choice of military we get the choice of uh, potion making just different things whatever I come up with whatever you request and so yeah this is our bank right here and I'll show you how the banking system works there is tax in this game this is the loans and banking deposit and withdrawal they all lead to the vault and the crime has been pretty low so if you guys join please respect that um, bank properties I do believe yeah I think that should I don't know why this is properties but oh yeah I I wasn't the one that put it in it was just supposed to be city money um, not bank properties but uh, this is the money to the city this is all the money that the city has for the city to uh, purchase things and wheel and deal and do different things with the country, like add more land. And I just spent a whole lot of it. And even though I am the host, I do follow the rules. I just spent a whole lot of it buying uh, the new land, and I'll show. We'll get to that in a bit. These plots are still for sale. They're not owned by me anymore. They're owned by Z Slayer. He owns this district here. Um, he owns a good portion of the city but I own mainly the rest these are personally owned plots uh, so yeah I have no ownership over that this is another personally owned plot and there seems to be a couple zombies under here since I built this new thing again we got the mine nothing too special just a mine pretty much only in survival and um, make a choice here we'll go left there's less stuff over here um, up here is the country uh, like our country White House type thing. This this is where everything like this is the guard on flag. Uh, so and since the then that's the country flag, and since our other city has not made a flag yet, it's just both guard on flags. But either either way, I'm hoping to get at least four cities for every city to have their own district, uh, like each of their own tower, or yeah, and they're all identical towers. Uh, nothing's different in every each side of them and the inside is going to be something for like uh, city stuff it's a newly finished building so it has nothing yet just only has one office uh, so yeah uh, it took me a while it's still being worked on but alright 
So then if we go over here, we get the military base. This is open to public, but you just, there's not much to steal. Just kind of for looks, mainly, but it will come into play if a city decides to go to war with us, where this is our base of operations, and if this gets destroyed, basically we lost the war. You know, and then they can claim the city. So, yeah. And I gotta sp and I gotta invest more money into it. I gotta make the charts for how the money works with the military stuff. On, um, I gotta invest more money just so I can get, uh, uh, more stuff. So anyway, I'm gonna take you guys down to the other city. This is a shipping trail because there is shipping between the cities for my food. I'm building another food business inside the city. There is not a name for it yet because my buddy has only been on it once and he's the owner. Uh, only been on the world to work on it once, uh, but he's been on the world quite a lot. Um, actually, not a whole lot of people get on the world anymore. So if you guys are watching this video, get on the world. I'll play. Text me. Something. But anyway... There, and there, that's supposed to happen so the other minecart can just go straight there since this is the city there should be a lot of traffic so that way n n everything doesn't get slowed down because one person didn't send down a minecart and I think this is just extra minecarts no that's his city money um so yeah this is going to be the food shop uh, my buddy Thomas or aka Jugs Gaming is in charge of that and so it looks like we're ready to go back. Again, there's not much. This is a brand new city. Still in development. But also, if he doesn't get back on it, it is also for sale. So, uh, hopefully, I've been begging people to get on. Hopefully, they get on so the city doesn't have to go up for sale for you newcomers to take up. But, yeah. So, then we're going to show you the other side of the city. And I'll show you the new land. Uh, just once we get here. Alright, now I go back. Um, okay. So, now that we're right here, we go in here. These are the guard, this is the garden tower. Uh, basically, just apartments. Every, every apartment is the exact same. So, you see one, you've seen them all. They each have a balcony. They each have their own staircase. This is the lobby. I decorated it. Just kind of look nice and welcoming. So, yeah. This is an unknown building right here. We'll get to it in a minute. Freshly built. Uh, this is just survival tree farm because this was originally mountains. And this actually, everything the city's built on was originally a huge lake. So, yeah, no natural trees. And I plan to plant trees around just kind of give the place vegetation and everything. This is our police station, which it's a small jail because I hope to not have to use it. And, yeah. The only light you get is a jack-o'-lantern. And before we go in here, I want to show you... This is garden area too. This is for the nicer people, but I'm thinking of just removing that and just keeping the gate here because I, for some reason I just like it and it's been around for so long it's just kind of a staple. This is my house right here. You got your casual TV, your kitchen. I've never used it once. Uh, bed, I only use this for plain out storage, like stupid storage. And then, actually, I do need to move that cobblestone because I do have my storage system down here. I don't remember whether it's open or closed. It is open. Uh, this is supposed to be, like, I know it's supposed to be sort of hidden, but, you know, it's not really hidden with labels on everything and um, a big lever. So, it could be hidden, but it hides everything and just makes everything look neater. Uh, this is all my survival stuff, just because I've been creative a whole lot. These are all my books. That I've enchanted. Uh, just haven't had a use for them yet. So yeah, this is where that's where I do most of my cooking is down there. That I call that the workshop. And then uh, you come over here, you just get a nice little view of the ocean. For some reason, people keep on questioning it, and so I might remove it. But oh, well, it was just supposed to be a nice little fun thing. This is a spleef arena. I do believe the shovels were stolen though. Unless I took care of her. Oh, no, the dispenser was stolen. This is, the dispenser was stolen. Yeah, this is the Spleef Arena. Um, this is, again, the unknown building where crap tons of mobs spawn. I don't know what to do with it, but it took me a decent amount of time just because of repetition. We'll get to that in a moment. And then this is the Garden Boat Dock, where basically we come over here. This is the museum. 
And I, this, I, I had one of my uh, friends invite a friend, for your safety, please do not touch anything, thank you. Uh, do all the science for the paintings. So this part, so, uh, yeah, just different. This is our oldest piece, over being over 2,000 years old, and it gives you a little lore to the place. Then this is this piece was made during World War One during by Stark Bark. This one is a painting of a hooker. Nice. <laughs> I didn't realize that <laughs> one. Oh well. But all right. So discovered in World War whatever that is. Uh, I had no I'm paying attention right now. People people report seeing pics of a cow when coming into contact with this creature. That's why you're supposed to not touch it. And these were discovered by deep sea divers in World War II. The, they are believed to talk through mind powers. Um, this is just a small museum. Um, anybody have any suggestions to build in here? Definitely let me know. Anybody have any suggestions at all? Like, you want to play on the world really bad, but you just can't because you're on PC. You're on PS4. I mean, I'm supposed to go this way. You know, you're on 360. You're on PS3. Um... Which I definitely could get Minecraft for PS3 if I if you guys do wish me to, I wouldn't have an issue with that, you know, because I kind of want to play with my friends on there too. But this is uh, the I guess Gardon Area Three. This is the new addition. This is kind of like the tiny thing. The minecart has seen dis disappeared, but this is gonna be a school to where certain jobs are gonna require a school because you just instead of uh. Uh, everybody getting trained for different jobs. You want you have to have a set job in your mind, and then you go to schooling for it. So there, therefore, whoever you work for, because there is competition. You know, a lot of people can have uh, the same businesses. So uh, whoever you work for, you know what to do. Therefore, it solves the issue of somebody not paying attention during the rule of instruction. This is natural. Kind of looks cool. Um, so yeah, guys, this is uh, this is my currency world. Definitely, if you want to hit me up and you want to play, I'm always adding on this world. Make a suggestion. But, yeah, if you have any ideas, anything that would be cool, any criticisms. And remember, I want criticisms, uh, not just hate. Because, you know, go ahead and hate if you want to, but criticisms are much more appreciated. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later. And terribly sorry for the win.